I never understood why I was so hyper, so energetic, so full of life, a little extra, maybe dramatic. But now I know why. It's quite interesting, actually. What's going on, YouTube fam? Welcome to ADHD Gardener, where I am navigating ADHD and MS life, one plant at a time. And this is my story, which I don't know if it's going to be interesting to you, but if it relates to you, then maybe we can take this journey together. Um, I was always hyper, 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 energetic insomnia ridden all that stuff but i never really noticed how bad it was because i worked as a registered nurse it fits your life you're always on the move always on the go 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 always have something to do nothing ever stays the same it's never boring never boring so once um i started feeling sick and i realized that uh ms which is an autoimmune disorder, has gotten to me. So I went into full-blown relapse. Couldn't walk for six months, couldn't work, couldn't even get up. I was in and out of the hospital. Uh, I lost so much weight. I lost like 60 pounds. I just couldn't, I wasn't the same anymore. It was very depressing. It was very, very, very trying time. But once I came out of that, and once I you know, got my health better, I still couldn't go back to work. I tried but I couldn't do it. And that only just pissed me off. Angry, angry, pissed off, frustrated so easily. And I couldn't figure out why. So I finally went to a therapist, right? Not that I wanted to, but apparently the anger issues have been getting a little explosive and a little too intense. So I went and they diagnosed me with supposedly BP2. <sighs> Either way. I had to basically um, get over the denial of this bipolar diagnosis because um, I never had it before. I never had this problem before. All I knew is that I was extremely hyper, extremely energetic, had no, had definite problems sleeping. I couldn't sit still. I was, you know, shake my leg. I just, I'm a chatterbox, bro. I will talk your freaking ear off. But the anger, that was something totally new and the, you know, just, it was too intense. I have ADHD combined type, which is the impulsive hyperactive and the inattentive day drifter. And on top of that, it intensified because I have from the MS, mind you, um, I have a lesion on my brain, a scarred section of my brain in the frontal lobe, which is responsible for, you know, the executive function, responsible for um, chill out, pumping the brakes versus, you know, just, just eat versus you just blurting out anything that just comes into your mind. Yeah, I don't have that chill anymore. Se fue. Just gone. So, you know, it took, a, it took some while to get freaking uh, accustomed to this, you know, new cognitive issues. I mean, not to mention from the MS. I mean, I have cognitive slowing, comprehension issues, and memory. Ugh. Gosh, my memory sucks. I can literally get off this, I can pause this and completely forget what I talked about. So I had to learn how to navigate all this stuff. I had to learn and had to deal and research what was going on with me. Like, I didn't understand it. I didn't even know where to start. It was a years, years process trying to figure out what the heck is up with me and trying to understand how in the world can I freaking gain some chill now that I'm dealing with extra emotions that I never had before. All the while maintaining sanity, maintaining health, and because I realized they were combined because if you have too many emotions or too many um, things going on, stressors going on in your life, it actually can manifest into physical symptoms. So, if you can figure out how to chill, then you can reduce the amount of physical pain stressors that will impact your body. And that is what I had to learn also because boy, when them anger rages came out after it was all said and done, 
my body would hurt so bad. And I'm not saying your body's going to hurt that bad, but mind you, I have a chronic illness, which I have to find some chill. So that is what prompted me to figure this out, find my journey, find out what can make me, you know, happy again, because honestly, nursing was all I had. Nursing was everything to me. So to fill a, such a large void, it was, I thought it was impossible. Once I found out, you know, I, I moved. And once I moved and I came to uh, PA, I'm in the woods now. And um, I realized inadvertently that plants kind of gave me some chill. I would go walking and hiking in the woods and it was like the world stopped or slowed down. And I was so happy. But then winter time came and I couldn't do any of that. So I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? Then, I got into house plants. Look at my house plant. And that came out of a bet from my boyfriend. He said, oh, you can't keep plants for that. You know, you can't keep plants alive. Your patience is not even there. How do you expect to keep up with that? I said, oh shit, you wanna place a bet now? I got this, I got you. Cause I don't like being told no or I can't do something. So it prompts me to like do it just so I can show you that I did it. And that's what I did with plants. I kept one plant alive for like a year and I thought it died and I thought it would come back and die and come back, but it came back and then it sprouted more leaves and more leaves and it made me happy because I know that I did that. I managed to keep it alive. I managed to discipline myself to keep this going and it just sparked something in me. And mind you, I always, you know, garden, I always had a vegetable garden, but it was more like a hobby. I didn't really like, you know, think nothing of it and how therapeutic it can be first of all I wasn't even thinking about therapy anything in general in the first place but it just so happened to work so you know I explored it I really explored it and then I found out like wow it really does make me happy look at the smile okay and then once I joined a plant group on Facebook forget it I got plant obsessed and one plant led to five plants, which five plants led to 20 plants. Now I'm at least 75. Indoor house plants. I don't know, I kind of lost count. If you count the propagation, but aside from that, not to mention the garden, vegetable garden outside. I mean, I want to create this large, sustainable garden as much as I can. Mind you, I am limited physically a lot with the MS, so I do get a lot of help from my family, from my boyfriend. I get, yeah, I even trained my dog to dig dirt. I think she was natural at it though, but she even breaks up and helps me dig dirt, you know? But everything, everything from digging to pulling weeds, everything I found therapeutic, and I didn't even look for therapy in plants. It just, one of those things that happened, I didn't realize how calm I was. I didn't realize how much I lit up in the smile again from plants. I thought it was stupid, but it really wasn't. I mean, you have music therapy. Why can't plant therapy happen? And it lit off fireworks. So here I am, you know, plenty of house plants later, a large vegetable garden later. And um, so that part of my life was reinvigorated. You know, I, I had a purpose again. I had a goal in mind again. You know, this was great. Now I had that, but I still felt alone. I still felt isolated. Like nobody understood me because I was so hyper. I was so energetic. And I, I had all this life and adventurous side to myself that I couldn't find in other people. Can you imagine a female aside from myself being so energetic and bubbly? I mean, I only saw that on TV, but I'm thinking to myself, where are the people in real life? Like, are you hyper? Are you intense? Maybe not hyper, but are you hyper in the mind? Are you constantly thinking? Are you constantly, constantly doing something? Whether it be stationary, but your mind is going like, or you physically have to tap or you move. Obviously, as you can tell, I gotta keep moving. 
always, always, always. It's very hard for me to sit still. Being that I always felt alone, I always wanted to know, are there other people out there like me? You know, I found something that makes me happy. I want to see if anyone else can ha um, share this experience with me. I'm sure there's going to be tons of screw-ups, tons of impulsive, crazy things that I'm going to wind up doing. New ideas pop up every day. Half the time I do explore those ideas, whether they're bad or they're good. You know, I'm just trying to figure it out one plant at a time, I guess you want to say. And I'm hoping that you'd come along on this journey with me because I'm trying to figure it out. I ain't, I'm not perfect. I sure as heck am not perfect. I screw up all the freaking time, yo. All the time. But I, I want to know that, I, you know, that I'm not the only one out here. Are you struggling too? It doesn't have to be MS. It doesn't have to be ADHD. It doesn't even have to be bipolar. It could be something. All I know is I'm not normal. I am very different. And I'm okay with that. I'm happy about that. So I guess we'll find out together how we're gonna do this, how I'm gonna do this, because I'm still learning. I learned a lot in five, six years of having this process journey already to figuring out what was wrong with me. But now that I know what's up with me, my journey continues because now I need to navigate this world. If you float that way too, then maybe we can float on together and search some, some other Anything, really. I mean, anything plant-related, anything life-related, chronic illness-related, anything ADHD-related, hyperness, adventure, even cooking. I do dabble a lot of that because you're going to see and my vegetable garden is ridiculously big. Well, not that big, but I'm trying to get it bigger. And then I love to cook what I grow. So welcome to this journey and I hope you stick around because that'd be awesome maybe we both learn something and until the next video which I don't even know what it'll be maybe about be about houseplants maybe you'll get a, a tour of my vegetable garden maybe I'll screw something up and have a meltdown and then maybe I'll put that up I don't really know until next time peace and love